A man from Maine says he's created a self-defense device that can help protect people and help people protect themselves when they're in a certain vulnerable position inside their vehicles. News Center Maine's Chloe Tebow joins us live this morning from South Portland with the details. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Sharon. Good morning. Michael Mercer is a former law enforcement officer with more than three decades of experience. He created F3 Defense, which he says is a non-lethal way for people from civilians to truck drivers to police officers to protect themselves from outside threats. The secret lies in a magnet, some tubing and pepper spray. Yeah. My nose is really, really hot. This wasn't Michael Mercer's only experience with pepper spray. In fact, he's proud to admit. I've been sprayed personally 104 times. Mercer has an interesting background. He's a Navy veteran who has worked as a police officer and chemical agent specialist. Now he's taking on a new role as CEO and founder of F3 Defense. We put our brains together and came up with this solution really is to allow people, motorists, to be empowered, to allow them to know that they're going to be safe. F3 Defense is a patent pending mobile pepper spray deployment system designed for use in cars and trucks. A magnetic dispenser attaches to the roof of the vehicle and a plastic hose leads to an 18 and a half ounce bottle of pepper spray. The goal so if anything happens, you're able to uh, pull the pin on, on the pepper spray, press the button and pepper spray will then be dispensed all the way around your car. This device with main made parts caters to different audiences like civilians, truck drivers and police officers. Mercer says he hopes this non lethal tool will help people stay safe without permanently harming anyone else. I just think there aren't enough options for less than lethal. Truck owner and operator Jess Graham is on the board of directors for Real Women in Trucking. She says she's excited to install an F3 defense device on her truck as a woman working in a male dominant dominated industry that can sometimes feel dangerous. There tends to be a shortage of tr adequate truck parking. We're forced to shut down in abandoned parking lots or um, on the shoulder of the highway. F3 Defense helping to ease some of those concerns. I think if I was to use a handgun or any other kind of weapon, it would I would be a little bit more hesitant to use it for fear of that um, permanence. Now, pepper spray is legal in all 50 states, though some do have restrictions. And Maine, pepper spray is legal for self-defense, but you must be over the age of 18 to buy, use, or carry it and cannot have any felonies. Live in South Portland this morning, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine.